Hello, this is Brian McKeon from the JMB FLP. Welcome you back to another episode of my 100 Top Wall Street Traders. Today we'll be looking at numbers 81 through 85 of my list of the 100 Top Wall Street Traders. Now you can see in this year's CNBC Stock Contest that all of my accounts are currently ranked in the top 1% with average returns, 8 week returns, going from 36 to 44%. Now, if you've been watching it closely between the last couple of days, you realize there was some trouble with the CNBC site. That's why the difference between yesterday and today. Now, in last year's CNBC stock contest, I finished in the top 7% with a 10-week return of over 19%, even beating Wall Street professional and celebrity trader Chris Gardner. You may recognize him as being the subject of the Will Smith movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. Now, if you look at my returns in comparison to his, you might consider, you know, listening to some of these strategies today. Now, the strategy I use is simply called piggybacking and or whale watching. It's where you really copy the best people out there. Now, I find these people in such magazines as Forbes and Trader Monthly, and such free websites as Stock Picker, Motley Fool Caps, and Covester. Now today we'll be looking at Fairlawn Capital, some of Dennis Gartman's plays, the Street.com Internet Index, some more of Gartman, and Passport Capital. Now looking at Passport Capital, you see that he has Google among some of his other plays. Now looking at Dennis Gartman's Natural Gas, you can see that I currently have some natural gas myself. Now looking at Number 83, the Street.com Internet Index. You look at a lot of old favorites. Amazon, Cisco, eBay, Google. And then you can also see that I currently own shares of IBM at this time. Now on to some more Dennis Gartman plays at 82. See PBR, Gold, and some financial stocks. Now our last one for today, Friendly Capital. You can see that he has Oracle and Leap on some of his plays. Now I take all these things, put them in a big list, and run them through these free websites to get an average analyst ranking. Then we'll go see what we come up with. Now I realize that all analyst recommendations are as of today, July 5th, 2008. Now first we look at the moderate buy camp with an average ranking of 4.0 out of 5 stars. We see gold, Microsoft and San Juan Basin Royalty Trust. All these with an average analyst ranking of 4.0 out of 5 stars would be considered a moderate buy at this time. Now, moving on to a little bit better, uh, but still in the moderate buy camp, we see average analyst ranking of 4.16 out of 5 stars. We see Ensco International and Gilead Sciences. All these with an average analyst ranking of 4.16 out of 5 stars would be considered a moderate buy at this time. Next, moving on to mo some more moderate buys, but a little bit stronger. You see such things as Barrett Gold, Adobe Systems, Giga Media, Petro Bradesco, and Potash. All of these with an average analyst ranking of 4.33 out of 5 stars would be considered moderate buys at this time. Finally today, looking at the strong buys, the IBM, or International Business Machine, Legacy Resources, NRG, Oracle, Transoceans, and Williams Companies. All of these with an average analyst ranking of 4.50 out of 5 stars would be considered a strong buy at this time. Now here's a chance to look at them all side by side, your moderate buys and your strong buys, giving you a chance to pause and write them down if you'd like. Now on to disclosure and disclaimer time. Disclaimer, I am not a licensed investment advisor and the investments that I am showing you today are the investments that I am doing for my friends and family accounts and the monies I manage for them. You can also see that I currently own shares of IBM and natural gas. Now yet again this is Brian McKeon from the JMB FLP welcoming you and encouraging you to come back for more of my episodes of the 100 Top Wall Street Traders. Thank you and see you next time.